Is Bun the future of JavaScript? Today, we are going to be testing a few claims by Bun to see if it's worth the hype. But first, what is Bun? Bun is an all-in-one toolkit for running, building, testing, and debugging JavaScript and TypeScript. It was developed with one goal in mind, to reduce the complexity of modern development. Take for example, if you're writing a TypeScript application, you'll need a transpiler for converting your TypeScript code to JavaScript. If you need to set up some environment variables, then you'll probably need something like .env. Oh, to install .env, you can use npm, yarn, pnpm. And don't forget about tests, you'll need to install something like Jess. Overall, the act of setting up all these tools just to get a project running is a huge time spender. With Bun, the pros of all these tools are combined and consolidated into a single toolkit that makes development enjoyable and super fast. Bun offers various supports, but the ones I would like to experiment with are Bun as a JavaScript runtime, hot reloading, Bun as a package manager, and Bun as a test runner. First of all, Bun is a JavaScript runtime that is claimed to be a drop-in replacement for Node.js. This means that your Node.js application can be easily switched over to Bun and you'll most likely see a performance increase when starting your app. It's fast because Bun has decided to replace Google's V8 engine with Apple's WebKit engine. Let's give this a try together. I put together a simple express app that connects to a local Postgres instance and it uses various NPM packages such as SQLize, .env, and a few others. Let's see if we can just replace Node.js with Bun and see if there's truly a performance increase. Well, they didn't lie there. Now I'm actually curious to see what the start time difference is between Node and Bun. What I did here is to record the start time at the very top of my index.js file, and when Express finished setting up, to calculate the total time it took to start the application. Hmm, this is very interesting. It looks like Node.js is so much faster in this instance. It's starting up around six milliseconds for Node.js, while Bun took around 13 milliseconds. If anybody knows why Bun is slower, please let me know in the comments below. I thought the whole selling point was that it's supposed to be a lot faster than Node.js. Now Bun has a transpiler baked into the runtime, so we should be able to convert our index.js file to index.ts and it should be able to work. Wow, I really like this. We don't need to configure anything for TypeScript and it just works out of the box. That's amazing. The second feature is hot reloading, which makes it easier to be productive as a developer. Instead of terminating your process and restarting to see a code change, it automatically reloads your application when the file changes. It's awesome that this is part of Bun because it just makes sense for it to be part of the runtime, especially when you need to test your API in real time. Bun as a package manager. I'm very excited about the speed that Bun can bring when it comes to package installation. When you're working on a big project, using NPM can be a little bit slow. Bun caches downloads and global modules and uses the fastest system call available on each OS. It claims to be 20x faster than NPM when installing from cache. Most projects share similar dependencies, so you can expect a big increase in installation speed. I do want to note one thing, Bun doesn't work super well with, with Azure Artifact. I tried doing a drop and replace for one of the projects that uses Azure Artifacts for our private NPM packages and I had no luck getting it to work. But maybe we'll see this get fixed in future releases? I personally think that it makes sense to have a test runner baked into Bun or Node.js. So they did. Bun has built-in testing modules that is fully JS compatible. No extra installation, no additional configuration. They even made it easier to migrate because any imports from Jets Global will be internally mapped to Bun Test. You don't have to do a thing. Overall, I'll definitely be using Bun for personal projects, but I think that it's not mature enough yet to completely replace Node.js. What are your thoughts? Do you think Bun will be a node killer or will it be just another JavaScript tool that will eventually fade away? This is David reporting from Geeky's Bytes. See you in the next one.